I got my hair done and it looks so good. We love these kids. Good morning and welcome or welcome back. Right now it is Tuesday, December 6th, 2022. I could not believe that this year is almost over. Hi, I was looking for you. So I'm about to feed my cats. Today is going to be a really good day. I feel like it's going to be a productive day. I did want to wake up a little bit earlier. It's 9.20, I've been up for since like 8.50. I just didn't go to bed early enough. But I'm gonna start my day with the gym, which I've been doing really consistently ever since I got this new gym membership. Because one, it's too expensive to not go consistently. And two, it just feels so good to finally have a membership to a gym where I feel comfortable. I feel like I can actually go get what I need to get done and get out. So yeah, I'll show you guys a little hints of that when I go. Also, there's just things around the house that I promise you, it's gonna make it seem like I just gave up with like unpacking and starting to make this place a home. But I have intentionally been waiting to record it for you guys. I promise. So guys, before we get any further into today's video, I did want to give a huge thank you to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. Ritual is an obsessively researched multivitamin company that takes the guesswork out of supplements. I know, you know, it can be a little iffy taking a new supplement, you know, especially Especially when you're not familiar with supplements, it can just be kind of just like new territory. Ritual supplements are vegan friendly, non-GMO, allergen free, gluten free, and they don't contain any added sugars. Transparency is at the core of everything that Ritual does, starting all the way back from the source of where they get the ingredients for their supplements, to the environmental impact of the materials used to ship out their thousands of orders. So the supplement that I do have here is not the only supplement that they provide. They have tons. This is their Symbiotic Plus, but they also do have men's multivitamins, 50 plus, prenatal, postnatal, kids supplements teens honestly they have supplements for everybody so this symbiotic here is more than a probiotic it's a three-in-one so if you guys aren't familiar with what a probiotic does it basically supports the growth and productivity of the healthy bacteria in your gut probiotics are live microorganisms and are known to alleviate things such as bloating gas occasional diarrhea and then the postbiotic provides fuel for the cells that make up the gut lining and support that gut barrier function ritual uses two of the most clinically studied strains of probiotics for their supplements for digestive support. So their supplements come in this container that just have a super minty and refreshing smell and taste. So, you know, you're not going to open up the container and they smell funky and not really, you know, you're not really enticed to take your supplements. You're not going to deal with that with Ritual. Ritual supplements also come in a delayed release capsule. So they're basically created to not disperse the moment they reach your stomach. They're supposed to release in your colon to be the most beneficial. No need to refrigerate this container. This is a moisture controlled bottle, so you have nothing to worry about. And just like all the other Ritual products, Ritual boasts their clean formula. Ritual wants to celebrate not high your insides which is exactly why they're giving you 20% off of your first month once again that is 20% off of your first month using my code feel free to go to ritual.com forward slash 20 aslia to get 20% off of your first month so I mean 
I'm unpacked for the most part, but I do have a couple boxes in my closet. My closet is not unpacked. Um, I have this like storage organizer that I bought. I ordered it off of Amazon. I wanted to put that together with you guys. None of that was going to be done until it could be on camera. So yeah, with that being said, I I've been waiting for that, I promise. My place is a disaster. That's another thing that needs to be done today. It gets messy so quick. And not to blame my sister, but she was just here. <laughs> okay, let's get these bowls. Also, I took my locks out last night. It was very impulsive. I'd had them in for three weeks and I was just over it. Especially whenever I get consistent in the gym. Again, I just hate the way, like, it's just too much for me. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I recorded, intentionally recorded a clip for you guys of me taking a lock out. So you could see that it's really not that bad. Um, I'm told that. <laughs> I'm told every time I get them that they're like hell to take out like I had always heard that but they're not That's actually the third time I've had locks. I've had butterfly locks before I did not post any pictures with them They only lasted 24 hours in my head. So maybe that doesn't even count I didn't like the way they looked on me at all. They were too thick and like heavy So I took them out. I don't know why they were heavy, but yeah, just to help anybody out I'm gonna insert a little video of me taking a lock out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to take out a lock and how it's really not as hard as people say it is. So we're gonna start with the lock, I'm starting from the bottom up. And whatever way she twisted the hair, you don't even have to remember, you can kind of just tell. Well, I just kind of get both pieces and twist them opposite ways until the wrap of hair starts to loosen up. And I'm gonna dig around in here and find my actual hair. Find that braid in there. So I'm gonna feel around for the braid, I feel it. And once you feel it, you're just gonna make sure it's separated from the lock. Normally I could pull it all the way out like this. As long as the, this hair is detached, you are not going to cut your actual hair as long as you don't cut up here where the braid is still inside. I grab the braid that's separated, cut the locking hair. The wrapping hair should just kind of, like the actual piece that she wrapped around. And then I'm just gonna wrap this the opposite way that she wrapped it all the way up to the top. All the way up. That came out. And then you just have the actual lock that she crocheted. That's it. There's no need for you to cut your actual hair. Okay guys, hi. I'm so excited to get things done with you guys today. Things are just better when we all do them together. I'm talking about not waking up early enough, but my whole plan today was to film this video and it's fine. I just wanted to get the gym like out of the way. Like yesterday I was on the way home by like 11.30. But it's fine, we still have time and anything that I don't get done today, we can do tomorrow. I, yeah, my place is a mess and I just cannot function when it's dirty. I need to get them more of these. They love these over the food. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I also dyed my hair last night again. I dyed it, like what, two months ago? Over, I don't even know. With permanent black hair dye and it already faded out and I want my hair to be black. So I dyed it. It was a demi-permanent color. It was a, it's a blue black. And basically that just means super jet black with like a hint of blue in the sun i'd rather my black hair be on more of the blue hue side opposed to red because i just still feel like that gives dark brown which i don't want so yeah i did a lot to my hair last night hence the reason i didn't go to bed as early as i wanted to but it is okay i don't feel like cooking shit i'm very tired of my breakfast options i've just been eating like a eggs and oatmeal or a bagel so i'm gonna go to chick-fil-a breakfast and take advantage of me being up early enough for that eat it on the way and then work out one thing i'm gonna have to do first is go to the car and get my big water bottle because i cannot go to the gym without it unless i buy a water bottle not buy it let me just put some pants on maybe Ooh, you're fine My place, the only time it'll actually smell like I have cats in here is when they eat that wet food. That shit stinks. One thing about a leg day for me, I go through an entire half gallon of water during my workout. 
I'm starting to like upper body more than lower body because lower body, whenever you're going like, lower body is just so intense. Like that shit makes me feel like I'm actually dying. Um, upper body, it's still intense and you get that burn, but it doesn't affect like your whole entire body the same. If you know, you know. Okay. Getting breakfast is actually gonna make life so much easier. I just spilled water all over my shirt. Okay, so we're in the bathroom. I already brushed my teeth, but my lips are so ashy. All we have to do is get dressed. I'm so excited to like deep clean my place. It's much needed. Oh, I don't have either of the sports bras I like to wear. Okay, so one thing that is all laid out, well, everything that's actually hung up are my gym clothes. I want to wear these. I need a wax. Classic combo for Ivy. And y'all can't see the rest. There's like a perfect place to put my camera on top of the so it's perfect i don't even need a tripod but um i am on my way to chick-fil-a right now we're 12 minutes out i'm getting really hungry my stomach it's like just getting to the point where it feels like it's starting to eat itself of course we're in a shitload of traffic yeah before i eat i don't have a whole lot to say <laughs> i should probably also soak off these nails today because i have an appointment soon um not tomorrow but i really want to start intentionally soaking off my nails if i'm getting a soak off or if i'm getting a new full set i'm about to get crushed by this to intentionally soak off my nails days before to allow them to heal and not be so sensitive right before my appointment because it just makes it harder for everyone plus these are so grown out and they add, uh, they look atrocious at this point they'd look better than nothing if we get around to it today i'll definitely do that hi hi um can i get a sausage hash brown scramble please we have a chicken. Um, okay, I'll do chicken. Oh, it literally says. What is it? The bowl or do the Uh, yeah, the bowl. Uh, yes, please. Can I do orange juice? And the name for the order? Um, Morgan. Thank you. You too. I was like randomly thinking. I had this thought before. I should just use my middle name because if you're messing up Morgan, like I really, I would genuinely be impressed if you could fuck up more than They forgot my orange juice last time, so I wanna make sure that they Yes. Thank you. We got our food that I'm gonna eat on the way and now let's put in directions for my gym. I already know how to get there from my house, but not from her. It's so far from here, but that's just because it's literally that time added to how long it normally takes. It's not the closest, but it's definitely worth the drive. What are they you know, you could have been on right now. Just, just go, please. This makes no sense. Well, this I have 36 minutes to eat my food. I love the sausage scramble bowl, but the chicken will do. It's basically just the chicken nuggets in it. Um, workout has been complete. I feel really good. Good. I did back and biceps. I can't remember if I said that or not Yeah, I'm already I'm ready to well if I'm gonna clean I don't want to shower yet 
I feel like cleaning should honestly be the last thing. No, I need to clean immediately. But I don't like to shower and then get sweaty and clean because I'm just gonna get nasty again. But these shorts gotta come off, they're suffocating me. Yeah, but I do wanna run into a store real quick, probably Target, because I have absolutely no hair ties and my hair is pretty much always in a protective style now. So yeah, I don't have any left. I used like the last scrunchie I could find this morning to do my hair. I think I'm gonna actually try to do my hair tomorrow. I know. Every time I try to get another protective style, I just want someone to yell, to yell at me to do my hair. <laughs> shower i'm nice and clean honestly i think i'm about to change this shirt i wish i would have gotten it a size up it feels like it's suffocating me and i hate when shirts fit more like an actual woman's woman's t-shirt opposed to like a men's big boxy t-shirt i can't do it let me find something else okay this is a much more comfortable fit i'm gonna really redo my hair because it just looks a mess even though i'm gonna be in the house because on days where i'm filming you know i have to look at myself the entire day so I think about those type of things i'm tired for some I'm gonna say for some reason I went to bed at like 1.45 in the morning. Not intentionally, I genuinely went to bed the moment I actually could whenever I was done doing my hair. But that was such a long process. Like taking out the locks themselves is a long process and then it's actually unbraiding every braid, which is the same amount of locks that you had. And then I detangled as I went, so that was an issue, but then it was dyeing my hair, which I didn't have to do. I just, you know, wanted to make sure I dyed it on dirty hair and just go ahead and get that done since my hair was going to be out and then yeah i had to wash it and i had to dry it i didn't let it dry to its fullest potential before i went to bed because i did not get air but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and fix it just a little bit so i was getting deliveries from green chef which is like just basically another version of hello fresh it's just cleaner food options and um a box was supposed to be delivered yesterday but i checked the tracking and it says they had an issue like they weren't able to deliver it so now i'm like that was really saving me when it came to dinner and eating in general because it was just you know a meal without question so now over here like all right, I'm not too hungry right now. I finished my Chick-fil-A and I'm going to make a protein shake so I can make sure that I am fueling myself, although I'm not the hungriest right now. But yeah, my place is a disaster. Do I want to straighten up first? I really don't, honestly. But I don't want to sit on the floor when it needs to be mopped. Why am I so tired? I need coffee or something but also i'm sure you guys will understand if i'm not on 10 in my video i think a clean space would just make me feel fantastic so i think i'm just gonna turn my speaker on and start doing that when it comes to cleaning i feel like it all comes down to okay where do we start so i think i'm gonna start with the living room my sister just recently visited so this couch was her humble abode for the last couple of days so all these blankets and everything and the pillowcases i'm going to wash This is what the kitchen is looking like. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, this is my table. This table right here is actually a no-go because as you can see, I can't remember if I talked about this before or not, but like, that's not even as bad as it gets. Like, y'all, this is, <laughs> yeah, this table, I think it had the potential to be built properly, but it just wasn't. And I mean, Ikea furniture is really not that hard to follow, but Karen and I tried to build this. Um, later on, I tried to glue it with Gorilla Glue. Nothing would work. So I actually ordered a table that looks very similar, or I mean exactly the same to this one, but I got it from CB2. So it should definitely be better quality. I wouldn't buy anything off of that website. Why is this camera so zoomed in, I feel like? Anyways, I wouldn't buy anything off that website if it wasn't on sale. So with that being said, I got a table for like 
It was like $100 off. Yeah, they made it seem, or I mean, I scheduled a delivery for December 17th, so I'm assuming that's when it's gonna come, but they're making it seem like it's gonna come sooner than that. But if they have me schedule a day, I guess not. But that's gonna be great because, I mean, I still eat at that. You know, I just hope for the best every time I eat on it, but I really like the space I have in my kitchen to have a dining table because it just gives you a different feel than the bar stools. I like both, but I was so hungry last night. I accidentally ordered two footlongs. I ate one last night, but this one is absolutely, I mean, it wasn't gonna last. You know, that's gonna get soggy, unfortunately. But yeah, we're just gonna go through the kitchen and this is easy. Like once I start, I know it'll be easy. power just went out and I am so confused um like where's the circuit breaker I was looking for it and it was right in front of my face because it's actually white instead of gray it blends in plus like I would never just like use this shit okay um so what what okay I guess it'd be the great room we're 16 why do I not even see why is there like three 15s so confused. Fixed it. I don't know why it stopped working though. It's really weird. this duvet cover i actually haven't even officially opened it but before i put it on my bed i'm definitely gonna want to wash it and the load i put in like an hour ago is about to be done so this is gonna go in there next i just feel like it's gonna be i don't know it'll soften it up oh my gosh that is so cute it came with a sleep mask and i've actually been using these recently so this is amazing i have another one from scotch bottoms by danny and whenever i don't have these lashes on i will use it because with it you know they'll press against my face but i don't know i've always been the type to sleep with a light on but recently the slightest bit of light i can still see it when my eyes are closed even outside when it's not completely pitch dark it's still annoying so yeah that'll be nice but it came with two shams and the duvet cover 
Excuse me. Yeah, I want these to smell like swabby though before I put them um, on my bed. Okay, this load is done and I have some things I need to fold, so. I hope that color isn't too boring, but I have, I have a vision, I have a vision. Okay, let me fold this stuff real quick. It's not even worth putting these clothes away right now anyway because I'm about to build what my clothes are gonna go in. Anytime I do laundry, I just fold them and put them back in a box. So we're not doing that today. the guest room and clean out all of the litter boxes i don't think y'all care to see that at all so i'm gonna go do that real quick oh yeah i didn't have this couch in my last video but my couch that i ordered was delivered this one looks really really similar to the one the one i tried to bring over here that didn't make the cut yeah um this is pretty much the same thing for oh my gosh like a quarter of the price off of wayfair it is amazing it's as comfortable as it looks i'm gonna fluff up the cushions and vacuum it up look how much crumbs all over the floor that's how it is though <laughs> anyways yeah everything came it came in six different boxes everything was vacuum sealed and they just kind of puffed up over a couple of days but oh it's great you guys should give me suggestions on what i should put above this wall i'm not doing a whole lease term with nothing to fill up this wall space so give me suggestions like i don't know i know it's easy to go with like the three pictures but even if i did that which i think is a good idea pictures of what you know what i mean like i have a vision of what i want the living room to look like but it's that filling a wall space is not my specialty at all so also another thing that i ordered is this thing in this corner over here i finally got my cats like a real cat tower i don't know why it took me so long they had one in the last apartment but it was half this size and they never really used it because there was not much to look forward to when it came to the cat tower but um yeah they seem to really be liking this i built this i think last night no the night before this isn't supposed to be here it's just a tunnel that they have that i got recently as well i just have it off the floor because i'm gonna sweep and mop they have this big scratch post and this other thing that they can scratch here so they kind of have their own little corner in the living room as well i don't know if i'm gonna keep it set up like this but i don't care i just like seeing them on it and actually using it this vacuum absolute lifesaver i've always wanted a vacuum like this specifically for my couch and it works wonders i got this off of amazon i can leave it linked down below but i'm just using it specifically for furniture to get the cat hair off this has had a blanket on it so it's fine it's more crumbs for my sister but yeah i love this thing i like the color of this couch too because you can see when there's hair or crumbs on it This couch looks a lot better than it did whenever we first unboxed it because it was just flat and looked interesting. And then, ow, this piece here, um, I mean, they can all detach if you wanted them to, but this piece specifically is made to move so you could have it more of a sectional kind of, I mean, on both sides, I guess. But yeah, I like it like this. It's like a extra bed. It is amazing. I can leave this link down below as well. Everything has been fluffed up and and it's all good to go. This closet smells exactly what you would think it smells like. Absolutely amazing. Just a little. I'm gonna take a break to eat. I don't necessarily have like exactly what I wanna eat. These aren't my favorite, but it'll do the job and I need to make sure that I'm feeding myself. It's easy to forget, especially when I'm doing something like cleaning. So I'm gonna eat this.
cleaning because I'm done. Now that we're done cleaning, I can actually sit on the floor. Oh my gosh, this just makes me feel so much better. First of all, I love a clean space. My place definitely needed this. I really need to be sweeping and mopping every day. I do do it maybe every other day. Sometimes I'll wait like three days max, but it gets bad really quickly, especially with me having so many cats. I'm like always looking for... Um, What's the word? Just things to maintain my space. I take pride in my cleanliness, especially having so many pets. Like, you would never know. Especially once that deep clean has been done. But, you know, not to the point where it's so sterile that it's not even livable for animals, you know? Like, I accommodate to them as well with all of their things. And um, I want it to be a comfortable space for them, too. That's, like, a part of the whole point. But, yeah, I have... So, now we can finally open this organizer. So, this takes me back because I ordered the same exact thing for my last apartment like a year ago at this point or yeah close to a year ago probably like 10 months ago it really doesn't matter now we can finally get into setting up this clothing organizer so I have the same exact one for my last place so this is taking me back because you know we were sitting down on the floor I was putting it together I remember I said I was gonna get an actual dresser but i just decided and came to the conclusion i don't really need it's just gonna go in my closet anyway so for something that nobody's gonna see i'd rather spend you know 70 dollars instead of hundreds for something that's gonna do the same thing the reason i wasn't gonna get another one of these is because with the way my last place was set up there was no way to there was no way the cats weren't gonna have access to my closet, but now I can completely shut out my closet. It doesn't connect to my bathroom in my room. It does, but not the same way. So I can avoid it getting scratched up. Plus they have so many things to scratch on now. They have no excuse. So I just got it in a different color that'll match this space more. Um, Why does it look like that? <clears throat> That's awful. And we are going to be building this together. Very simple setup. I highly recommend this honestly. It's from Amazon. Not really expensive. Yeah. And it's definitely about time that we take. I need to take all those boxes outside. I was thinking like maybe I just save them for the next move, but at the end of the day, it, it's maybe $30 and I don't want them in here. I just I think I was wearing the same exact shirt this last time I did this as well. This is deep. Yeah. Okay, so this is the current situation of my closet. As you can see, it mainly is still just boxes. Most of these are clothes. I know these are squishmallows. This is just random stuff that's gonna go in one of my storage closets. And then some things I do already have hung up, but it's kind of hard to hang stuff up here when I have things sitting down here that aren't supposed to be there and things like that. So this is what we're going to tackle next. And this is the main thing that I'm gonna be focused on today. As long as I get this done, I'm good because, you know, we got tomorrow. So yeah, this. This storage organizer is just gonna sit probably right underneath there. If it'll fit, these may be a slight issue. I think it'll be fine. They just won't be able to fully, they won't be able to fully go underneath, but it'll fit under this shelf at least. But yeah, I love this one. This is just like the one I had in my last place. But as you can see, the colors mesh 
perfectly with the apartment. So yeah, this would be nice. I feel like a huge plant would look super good right there. Anyways, I need chapstick. My lips keep getting ashy. And like a picture here, so there could go above the toilet. I just want to actually fill up wall space. That's the thing. I don't want to do this, but it needs to get done. Okay. So I'm really just gonna start with a box. Whatever it is, I'm gonna pick it up and figure out a place to put it. It's like the random boxes that I'm not looking forward to because it's such random shit. Like braiding hair. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna use a braiding hair. This she is about to go on my bed, it's clean. Quest chips of like, you know, um figure that out later. This is a dress. Anything that's closed, I'm just gonna kind of fold and put to the side for now. This is my birthday outfit. Okay, so little update. This is what the area is looking like now. We have four boxes that we've taken everything out of. I'm gonna have to break these down. And I'm just gonna take all the boxes to the dump. These are all of my books for now. I think I'm gonna put these just in my nightstands, how they were. How they were in my last place until I get like a bookshelf or something of some sort. Or until I put up my hanging shelves and maybe I could put them up there. But for now, yeah, we have those. Yeah, things like this I'm just putting in the guest closet for now because maybe I'll do something with it moving forward. Anything in here, the little plants I'll put in my bathroom the candles i'll just set somewhere around the house like now yeah that's what we're doing right now put one in the guest bathroom i have another one just for the time being because i don't really know <laughs> yeah these Honestly, I'll just put in the guest room for now or the closet. Ooh, I'll keep this candle out. So these are actual clothes that will go in the organizer. This is also clothes. Um, these will just be hung up, everything else. This is a clean beach towel. So crazy like I can actually stand in my walk-in closet so we are making so much progress I knew it wouldn't take long it's just like actually getting it started you know what I'm saying I have so many hangers here this is just gonna be weird placement because I feel like this should have been higher because it's gonna touch my shoes like I'm not gonna be able to put anything that has hang time you know Royce is on the box with um majority of my shoes well actually the main shoes I wear are already out they are in the closet up front because I don't I don't have a shoe rack but you know I like I don't like to wear shoes around the house my floors are clean so yeah I'm just putting them in there and then also I don't really want the shoes on display it just tucks them away I decide out of mine Royce here is gonna need to get up because I need my shoes sir Royce Sorry. <laughs> okay, I need you to get up. Sorry, boo thing. I need you to get up. Some of these shoes I forgot I had because they've been in here for so long. Welcome back. Oh, there's stuff in there. That's what I need to get off. 
I really need to work on my fashion sense because I have nice shoes. I just don't know how to wear them. This is actually so satisfying to do. Just to actually have everything laid out. Overall, just feels good to get done. Oh my gosh, forgot about my cute sandals because they've been in the box. Do I even have space for my shoes? I'm gonna have to put shoes like up here. Hopefully I don't get dirt in my eye from the bottom of the shoes. I don't remember ever having like buying this many LED lights. Well, I can take these out to save space because the whole box is taking up space. They've been in the box for months. Because when am I wearing these boots in Miami? Never. They're so cute though. Oh my gosh, it actually looks like a closet that like I use. And then this is just for the clothes. I really, really do want to get back into reading. Like seeing all these books out now that they're in sight. Like, it makes me excited. I would love to finish the like two books that I started and didn't finish. All right, now what you guys are sitting on, I'm about to put in the closet. You know what? This is actually a perfect place. So then it's kind of tucked away behind this wall. That's fantastic. It always finds a way to fit perfectly. That's perfect. If I went on the other side too, but I really don't have, I mean, everything you see is pretty much all my clothes. I have some in there and then yeah, that's everything. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to sweep again. But yeah, let's go ahead and take everything that's in here and put them in these. boxes are out as you can see they're exploring the new space it already feels so much more spacious with what i've you know gotten rid of but okay this is my squishmallows this is like an air mattress some jeans oh yeah those are jeans i actually brought over to sell i'll probably sell them on I think I was doing Poshmark last because none of them fit, but I didn't want to just, I donated a lot of clothes, but those I wanted to sell because they're like perfect condition, but I could still, ugh, I've done enough for today, right? These in here are just, um, this is like some bathroom products. I could honestly probably get that done tonight. I'm tired. I did not expect, the fact that I thought I was going to get this done and a whole bunch of other areas done today, <laughs> I definitely underestimated how time consuming this is. But my duvet cover is done, so, oh wait, no it's not. It's close, but, uh, yeah, it's not done. It's close to being done, but yeah, it was still a little wet on the inside. I'm gonna put this back on the couch just because it protects the cushions, and I'm like terrified of Bentley like peeing on my couch again. I got a blanket I can keep on it at all times that actually matches the um, couch, but for now, this will do just fine. I wanted to take a break from unboxing. I'm gonna do the bathroom off camera because are y'all not tired yet? Because I am. And I don't know what I'm doing for dinner. Before I take those boxes out, I'm stalling, but I'm also hungry. And until I figure out what I'm gonna eat, which should not take that long, um, I'm gonna make a protein shake because beneficial for me. So my protein powder. If I had ice cream, I'll totally put that in. I want it creamy though. I'm gonna put whipped cream in it. I have yogurt, but I'd rather just eat those. I found this at Target. It's a marshmallow whipped dairy topping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put oats too. I'm about to run out of these too. I 
I blended it twice because anytime I put oats, if you blend it twice, it normally makes it the consistency where there is no oats in it because it normally thickens up the, the shake to the point it makes me want to gag. Okay, it's actually fucking freezing in here right now, but I know whenever I'm moving and once it's time to actually get in bed, I am going to absolutely love the temperature of my place right now. I was gonna extend this video into tomorrow, but honestly, I think this is gonna be, like what I do today will be a video in itself because I seriously deep clean my whole place and finish unpacking. Yeah, I just do this, I do this thing where I try to, like things can be extended into a separate video. I don't have to make it. I know you guys love the long videos. I like them too, but also if I have the opportunity to make it two videos, then I'm probably gonna do it, especially cause I have two sponsored videos to do. So it'll be better. But then again, I may make this a long video because I have a nail appointment soon. I'm getting my toes done, things like that. I'm gonna wanna put that in a video and I'm not gonna wanna put that in this video. We'll see, we'll see. I'll like import the footage tonight and see what I'm working with. I'm so excited to go to bed earlier tonight because <laughs> I'm exhausted already. So we have the duvet. Um, I'm gonna have to take homeboy off the, I'm sorry. This is my second time taking him like, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna put this sheet on and I'm gonna put the new duvet on it, okay? I'm so sorry. He's like, I don't even know, like he was not ready. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'll be so mad if someone did that to me, but I just wanna get this done really quickly. He'll be okay. Yeah, it's time to retire this duvet. I'm kind of tired of it. The sheet, I like to also change my sheets and my comforter or wash them very frequently. Once again, because I have pets. And just in general, it's good to keep them clean, so. Okay, so this is what the duvet cover looks like. It looks, I don't know why it gives me like palish, rosy. I don't know. Maybe it's just the lighting. Um, It's definitely an underwhelming duvet. Um, we're gonna have to add some decorative pillows or something. Okay, well. I don't know, it's okay, it's not bad. I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, maybe it'll grow on me. I think it's nice, but since my room is still so bare, it just like looks like a hospital room. Like. Um, do you like it? Look at his little foot. But yeah, even just having my nightstands a little more put together feels really nice. I had the hanging shelves above my bed at my last place, but I think this time I'm gonna put them over there because I have something else I wanna put above my bed. Whew, I still need to take those boxes out. Okay, I took maybe six boxes out, so now I just need to take all this out. I have these bags that were um, just in the rooms, and then my trash. I already replaced the trash bag. This is like my least favorite part. I feel like I've said that like five times, but. All right guys, so this is my first time leaving the house in well, pretty much all day besides this morning because I need food. Yeah, my box was never delivered. So I'm quite sure what's gonna happen with that. But for now, I know that, you know, the shake was good, but I was not taking that as a meal replacement or anything, like real substance. So I'm going to this place that I've never heard of before. Am I going the right way? Um, it's called tacos and tattoos and where I lived before um, you know I had like my go-to taco spot and I don't have one here yet and tacos are like one of the foods that I can eat at any time I'm always in the mood for them it's always something I can fall back on so um, yeah I was gonna do a takeout order just to avoid like just so I could go in and out I don't feel like talking to anyone right now but um yeah they like don't have that so yeah, but the spot actually looks really cool. I'd love to go back during the day at some point, but I kind of already know what I want to get.
All right, guys. So I'm back in the car. I'm on FaceTime. I did not realize that this place, it's like a bar slash restaurant. Whenever you first walk in, it's a bar. And then if you keep walking, there's where you can actually order food and there's places to sit outside. On the door, it said like after 9 p.m., only 21 plus, it was like 8.30. So not nine yet, but I mean, I didn't think anything of that. But the moment I walked in that door, man, it was like, can I see your ID, please? They're, they're not bad. Um, I'm just really sensitive to salt. Like I hate shit that's too salty. And they're a little too salty for my liking. But they are well seasoned. And they're just like really greasy, like they're sitting in oil. But sometimes when I wait too long to eat, when I finally do eat, I get the hiccups. It's so weird. I'm just gonna try the elote. This is a like truffle. I don't even know, but it looks. Alright. Done. Um, the tacos are okay. They're too salty for me and a little too greasy, but um, I'd come back and just get a different meat. Mm. But I love this good though. Not ten dollars good, but um. all right, guys. So little update. It is now I think eleven. 30 and um i wasn't sure if i was going to continue this video into tomorrow or not and i've decided after importing the footage i am not because i'm gonna film a whole separate video tomorrow anyway so you guys will still see what i do tomorrow it just won't be in this specific video because i feel like i did more than enough for today yeah with all that being said i really hope you guys enjoyed this video we got a lot done today that was a task that really needed to be tackled and i'm just happy that we were able to do it together and it definitely held me more accountable to actually get it done i didn't do everything that i plan to do today but that's okay because i'm gonna do it tomorrow along with some other things that you guys will see me do but with all that being said we have come to the end i'm tired i will be going to bed not too long from now i'm gonna go to bed watching a movie on netflix um my cats are having a time of their lives is this so big? but i love you all a lot i appreciate you guys watching to the end of this video if you did and i'll see you guys in my next one